Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss about the difference between earth fault relay and earth leakage relay. In one of my previous video, I discuss about the difference between the ELCB and RCCB. In other video, I have already been discussed the difference between ELR and RCCB. In this video, I will discuss the difference between ELR and EFR. The confusion between the ELCB and RCCB, the confusion between RCCB and ELR, and the confusion between ELR and EFR is very obvious. All are sensing the current which is flowing to the earth during fault condition. Due to the lack of knowledge, many people think that the earth leakage fault and the earth fault is same. But if you will go in deep related to earth leakage fault and the earth fault, you will find a much difference between these two. So let's start this topic and try to uncover the difference between earth leakage relay and earth fault relay. I believe now you are well aware between the difference of earth leakage fault and earth fault. If you didn't watch my video between the difference of earth leakage fault and earth fault, then watch that video and then come back to this video. The first difference between the earth leakage relay and earth fault relay is that the earth leakage relay is used to protect the human from the earth leakage current shock. But the earth fault relay is used to protect the equipment, not the human, from the earth fault condition. As we know that a small amount of current can be harmful for the human, it can be of 1 ampere, even 500 milliampere of current is also dangerous for human. So it is required for the earth leakage relay to detect the minute amount of leakage current through the system and to trip the circuit in order to protect the human as the small amount of current that can be 1 ampere or 2 ampere will be the cause of death of human. So the earth leakage relay has to sense that very minute amount of current and after sensing the earth leakage relay has to give command to the main circuit breaker to trip it in order to protect the human from this earth leakage fault. But if I will talk about the earth fault relay which will be used during the earth fault condition then suppose there is three phase coming to this motor and due to some reason one phase completely lost from the motor then motor will try to draw more current from this two remaining phase and in that case the motor winding will burn out. Phase losses in any of the electrical equipment can create many problem for that equipment. So in that case the earth fault relay has to detect this earth fault and has to trip the circuit in order to protect that load which have been the problem of earth fault. Now let us move to our next difference between earth leakage relay and earth fault relay. Earth leakage relay is more sensitive and have high cost and earth fault relay is less sensitive and have less cost compared to earth leakage relay. As we seen in the previous difference between the earth leakage relay and earth fault relay that the earth leakage relay has to sense low earth fault current but the earth fault relay has to sense high fault earth fault current. So as the earth leakage relay is sensing low earth fault current so it should be much sensitive and as the earth fault relay has to sense the high earth fault current so it should be less sensitive and as the sensitivity is high for the earth leakage relay so the cost of the earth leakage relay is more and the cost of the earth fault relay is less. The other difference between the earth leakage relay and earth fault relay is that the earth leakage relay using the CBCT in order to sense the earth leakage current but the earth fault relay is using CT current transformer to sense the earth fault current. Let us move to the other difference between the earth leakage relay and earth fault relay. The earth leakage relay is a current operating device as we know well that the earth leakage relay has to deal with very minute current meaning the earth leakage relay has to sense a very small current and it has to trip the circuit. If the current is less then the voltage induced by that current will be very less. So the earth leakage relay is sensing and tripping the circuit by using the current, by using the current difference in the phases. But the earth fault relay as we know well there is a huge current flowing during the earth fault. So the voltage induced in 
the tipping coil due to that earth fault current will be very high. So the earth fault relay is using the voltage induced technique in the relay to trip the circuit. So earth fault relay basically a voltage operated device but the earth leakage relay is a current operated device. The next difference between the earth leakage relay and earth fault relay is that the working principle of earth leakage relay is same as the RCCB and the working principle of earth fault relay is same as the working principle of ELCB. I already made video on the difference between RCCB and ELCB. Watch that video to have better concept and deep concept related to RCCB and ELCB. So you will better understand this difference that is the difference between earth leakage relay and earth fault relay based on the working principle. Let us move to the next difference between the earth leakage relay and earth fault relay. The next difference is the working principle of earth leakage relay and earth fault relay. So let us understand the working principle of both. Let us take first the earth leakage relay working principle. At the normal condition, at the healthy condition, the, suppose there is some amount of current is flowing through R, some amount of current is flowing through Y and some amount of current is flowing through B. In the normal condition, the phasor sum of three current that is IR plus IY plus IB is always zero in healthy condition. But suppose if some fault happen in one of the phase, then at that time the phasor sum of all this current will not be equal to zero, which will activate this CBCT core balance current transformer and core balance current transformer will give this feedback to the earth leakage relay in order to trip the circuit. But in case of earth fault relay, suppose this R phase completely detached from the motor terminal and it tilts touches to the motor body. Then suppose 100 ampere of current was flowing through the R phase, then this all 100 ampere of current will flow through the body of the motor now after the fault. Then same 100 ampere of current will flow through the earthing conductor which is connected with the body of the motor and from the earthing conductor it will flow through the relay which is connected in series with the earth conductor as the relay will detect the high amount of current flowing through it it will trip the circuit breaker in order to interrupt the power supply so this is the working principle of earth fault relay after understanding the working operation of earth leakage relay and earth fault relay let us understand the next difference between the earth leakage relay and earth fault relay in the earth leakage relay, if the fault happen anywhere, the earth leakage relay will trip. What does it mean? Suppose the earth fault happen at the load side, then there is an imbalance current occur in the cable and this imbalance current will be detected by CBCT and it will give input to the earth leakage relay and it will trip the circuit breaker. Suppose next condition is the fault not happen at the load side, fault happen before the CBCT near the source side. Even though when the leakage current flowing then again it will create the imbalance current and this imbalance current will sense by the CBCT and CBCT will give input to the earth leakage relay and earth leakage relay will trip the circuit. So wherever the fault happen the earth leakage relay always operate. But in case of earth fault relay it's not the case. Suppose in first case the earth fault happen and it is touches the body of the motor then the all fault current will flow through the body of the motor and from the body of the motor it will flow through the earthing conductor which is connected with the body of the motor and from the earthing conductor it will flow through the relay and relay will find there is a huge current and it will trip the circuit breaker. But let us take another case. In this case suppose earth fault happen but earth fault not happen at the load side it is happen near to the source side. Then what happened? The phase conductor which was flowing the current to the motor is completely detached due to earth fault. Now this time there is no current in the body of the motor. As there is no current in the body of the motor so no current is flowing through the earthing of the earthing wire which is connected to the motor. As there is no current in the earthing of the motor there is no current through the relay and relay will not activate. But there is a fault there is a earth fault. So the limitation of earth fault relay is that the whenever the earth fault happen at the load end then only the earth leakage earth fault relay will activate. But elsewhere if there is a earth fault happen the earth 
fault relay will not activate but in case of earth leakage relay we studied that whether the fault happen anywhere in the system anywhere in the circuit either in load side either in the conductor either in the source side the earth leakage relay will trip it will function but earth fault relay will function only when the earth fault happen at the load side whenever the earth fault happened away from the load side the earth leakage earth fault relay will not activate so this is the big difference between the earth fault relay and earth leakage relay i hope you got the difference between the earth leakage relay and earth fault relay here i will show you one important photo this is the earth re leakage relay photo from the panel and this is the air circuit breaker photo of the same panel here you see that there is a provision to set the ground fault which is nothing but the earth fault and in the same panel there is a provision to set the earth leakage current from this earth leakage relay here you see that this suppose for simplicity i am taking the rating of this breaker as 1000 ampere but this breaker is 2500 ampere breaker rating but for simple calculation i am taking 1000 ampere breaker suppose if we will set the dial on 20% then the 20% of the nominal current rating that is 1000 ampere which is the breaker rating will be 200 ampere so whenever there is a ground fault or earth fault happen and there is a current of 200 and more than 200 current is flowing to the ground then this air circuit breaker will trip itself under the ground fault or earth fault in the same panel there is a setting for the earth leakage current which is from 0 0.3 to 3 ampere 0 0.3 to 3 ampere it means if there is a fault happen which is the earth leakage fault then this earth leakage relay will trip the air circuit breaker when there is a fault of 0 0.3 ampere to 3 ampere as per our setting you can see the difference between the earth leakage relay setting and the ground fault relay setting this is in the case of earth leakage relay it is 0 0.3 to 3 ampere and as per our adjustment suppose we put this dip switch on 0.3 then this relay is set on 0.3 and if in the uh, ground fault setting if we put this dial at 20 then it, the ground fault setting will be set at 200 ampere so you can see the difference between the setting 0.3 ampere and 200 ampere which is very very high from the earth leakage setting so the setting for the earth leakage relay is to protect the human from the earth leakage fault current shock but the setting of the earth fault relay is to protect the equipment which is connected from the earth fault condition hope you got the difference between the earth leakage relay and earth fault relay if you really like this video then please give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel we will meet in any other video till then take care keep learning and bye bye thank you so much